With F1's traditional summer break underway, now is the perfect time for us to put every team and every driver under the microscope. This week, we look at the sport's top five teams. McLaren is having a season to remember. Not only is the Renault-powered team exactly 20 points ahead of where it ended the 2018 season, it's over double the factory efforts points on 82, compared with Renault's 39. It's two new drivers in Carlos Sainz who arrived from Renault and rookie Lando Norris have not held the outfit back. And despite a few reliability issues, there's no doubting the Woking base team is on its way up. Yeah, we've got a great new look with our race car here. Uh, two new drivers, first time in, in 12 years. And so uh, we're definitely ready for 2019. Very excited. Uh, definitely feels like uh, the next step in uh, the McLaren uh, journey. A slow start to the year saw only one point scoring finish in the first three races by Norris in Bahrain, where the Briton finished sixth. On the other side of the garage, Sainz suffered a DNF in both Australia and Bahrain before the bad luck moved to Norris, who was taken out of the Chinese GP on a first lap clash with Daniil Kvyat. But a double points finish in Baku saw the season begin to turn around. Sainz finished the next seven races in the top 10, including fifth places in Germany and Hungary. Norris hasn't scored as consistently, but took ninth in Budapest for McLaren's fourth double points finish. Norris's form a factor of his extensive pre-season preparation. Training so physically, mentally, um, going through with Will and Jar, my engineers, um, as many things as we can, from strategy side of things to uh, driving on the simulator, driver preparation, rules. Uh, there's a lot of different things which um, are very different to the past few years in, in any of the other categories. The remainder of 2019 could be something to savor for the team. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.